Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Garza, the librarian, and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to use the website arbookfind.com or arbookfinder. So what is arbookfinder? It's a website that you can use at home or at school. We do have a link on our library website, and you're able to find out the following information on a book. You can see if a book is air testable. You can see how many points the book is worth, the reading level, and a summary of the book. You can also see the star rating by other students. Remember those stars that you rate a book once you have finished taking a quiz? This is where those stars are averaged, and then you can see once you're on AR Book Finder what other th students thought of that book. So if a book has gotten three, three and a half, four stars, then you can be sure that other students have liked that book and more than likely you would enjoy that book as well. So it's a helpful tool to help you find something that you're going to be reading next. Keep in mind that this website is not going to allow you to take an AR quiz. You need to go to the AR link to do that. And also keep in mind that you can take an AR quiz on any book. It can be a book from our school library, the public library, a book that you buy at a store or online. It can also be an audiobook or a book that you listen to on a website such as Storyline Online or even on YouTube. So you would click on the link or go to the arbookfind.com website and you may get this question, please tell us who you are. So you would click on student and submit. And you may not be asked this every time you log in, but in case you are, you'll know what to do. Up at the top you have a search bar. You can search by title, author, or quiz number if you know it. Remember our library books will have the quiz number in the back of the book. Remember when you're searching to make sure that you spell the title correctly and include any punctuation such as a comma, exclamation mark, or a question mark. If you search by author, chances are you're going to get a very long list of results. So the best and fastest way to search would be by title. If you get no results, then I would suggest to go back and look at the book and make sure that you have typed in everything correctly. Another thing also to remember is that if it's a very new book that just came out, there may not be an AR quiz for the book just yet. Sometimes it takes about two months for an AR quiz to be created. So just keep that book and you can go ahead and quiz on it later once the quiz has been created. So I'm going to search for The Very Hungry Caterpillar just to give you an example. And you'll see the following information. We have the title in blue, the author, and where it says AR quiz NO period, that means number. So here is the quiz number. EN means that it is an English quiz. If it was in Spanish, it would say SP. And then here it has fiction, or you may see nonfiction. On the next line, you'll see IL. And also notice, wherever there is a blue question mark, that is a link that you can click on for more information and help. So IL means interest level. So that means what grade level of student would most likely be interested in reading this type of book? So if you see an interest level of LG, that means lower grades or elementary. MG is for middle grades or junior high, so for fifth to eighth grade students, and UG would be upper grades for our high school. BL is a book level or reading level. So here you see that the Very Hungry Caterpillar has a book level of 2.9. The first number tells you that it is a second grade grade level. The second number after the decimal tells you how many months. So this book would be a second grade nine month book. So nine months into second grade, a student should be able to read this book and after taking AR quiz, score 100% and understand that. After the book level, you see ARPTS. This is how many points you can earn if you get 100 on the book. And then you'll see AR quiz types. Reading practice and vocabulary practice are all available. And then here is where you see those stars. So other students, on average, have given The Very Hungry Caterpillar three and a half out of four stars. So most students that read it liked it. So if you've never read this book before, chances are you may enjoy it also. And then you also see a summary of the book. Let's take a look at a search. I searched for sun. And if you notice here at the top next to the blue arrow, 
There are 805 results, 41 pages that I would have to scroll through to find the book that I'm looking for. So, what you can do is use the advanced search up at the top and search by title and author. And that will help you find the, the specific book that you are looking for. Here we go. This is a book that I was looking for, The Sun by Fran Howard. Keep in mind also with the AR Book Finder website that the cover of the book may be different than the one that you listened to or read. So, always check that the title and author are the same, and as long as they are the same, then you can be sure that it is a correct book. If the title and author are different, then you would want to go ahead and double check and retype in the search for the title. So, that's AR Book Finder. I hope that this will help you when you're searching to see what books are AR testable, how many points they're worth, as well as their reading level. So, happy reading!